From the Signals AZ.com studio, it's the best worst podcast you've ever heard. And now, the Ronnie and Bo Show, brought to you by Prescott Realty and Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know, Bo, but I know that it's the Ronnie and Bo Show and the, the tryptophan is already setting in but and, we haven't had our turkey yet. and i haven't even even had it yet so <laughs> that's how bad tryptophan? i don't even need i can nap about three times a day without the tryptophan you know you know i just said what are we doing like you know like <laughs> what you know get uh, quit hanging from the chandelier right what are we doing yeah. but uh, but the way i mean it is what are we doing we have no idea yeah, no, well, that's true. Remember Michael Berger called us out on that? You, uh, we take great pride in not preparing at all. Being organic and <laughs> letting it rise. He goes, that's another way for saying you don't prep for anything. <laughs> Which is kind of true. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is the Ronnie and Bo show during uh, Thanksgiving week yeah. that this is being recorded. Uh, but we have no clue. You might be listening to this three years from now yeah. in uh, March. But make sh- no, 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 they're not allowed to do that. Make sure it's during Thanksgiving week. Oh, just, okay. just to keep the consistency. Okay, so we, if, we, if, please. if it is March, press pause, <laughs> yeah, and flag wait, this. Wait, wait till November. <laughs> yeah. And then enjoy. And if we don't get the year right, at least we'll get the season yeah, right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So anyways, if they're listening in March, boy, this Thanksgiving snow is just horrible. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's brutal. It's, it is. Winter came early this year. I know. Yeah. Uh, that makes no sense. Crazy. So the Ronnie and Bo Show is brought to you by Prescott Realty, prescottrealty.com, and you can call them for a no-commitment free consultation, 928-499-8700. An update, we're still looking for a Ronnie and Bo uh, building, right? Uh, studio. Yep. We're going we're gonna to build a studio. and uh, can, we, can it be a tower? I would yeah. like a tower, okay. the Ronnie and Bo tower. <laughs> like, like those forest towers, the, yeah. the forest fire towers? Yeah. The, oh, the yeah. Thing. But the problem is we'd have to carry all our equipment up about 100 <laughs> rungs on the ladder, right? Yeah, that's But it good. would be a great view, wouldn't it? I would. Uh, so anyways, I brought that up because Lorinda Johnson is really helping us. Yeah. And she's, she's dragging us around, or, yep. or, or I'm dragging her around, really, yep. Yep. And yep. looking at these places. And we're trying real hard, that's and cool. we really appreciate their, their, their help, Prescott Realty, with two offices to serve, downtown Prescott and Williamson Valley. They're specialists in what they do. Yep. They've got first-time home buyer specialists. They've got a new build specialist. Uh, if you want to buy a lot and build your own house, you have your right. own ideas. Uh, you're into commercial real estate. Yeah. You know, whether you uh, are, are selling and want to know what your house is worth or whether you're buying and don't know what that house is worth, right. give them a call at Prescott Realty, 928-499-8700. And thanks to Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service, uh, they are the, the go-to place, really, for any of your automotive needs. Uh, if you need new tires heading into winter, yeah. make sure you go get those taken care of. And Prescott Tire Pros is the best place to uh, to do that. Um, they've also got some uh, uh, a body shop right there that yeah. they can help if you've been in an accident. They uh, take all insurances. Yep. Or or no insurance. You know. Yeah. They'll, they'll help you if yep. you were in a in a in a in a. Fender bender. Yeah, exactly. Um, or, you know, just like we've been saying, uh, go just get an, an oil change with them, and uh, you'll discover just how good they are, how reasonably they're priced. Uh, they'll really take good care of you. Uh, you can check them out at PrescottTirePros.com. You can even book an appointment online, or you can give them a call, 928-776-0205. They're located in Prescott off Iron Springs Road, right next to Waters Garden Center, Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service. So I want to put you on the spot, Ronnie. Okay. Before we get into what we're going to do today, can, yeah. can, can I select the uh, little uh, bit that we do? You bet. Um, I'm going to put, do you have a, um, who said it? Oh. Can you find one for me? Would, I can would, you, find, would you be able to come up with one? You're pretty I good at those. I can find one. Yeah. 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 So, um, what do you want it to would, be about? I don't know. Um, you know, what should we do? Some, should we do a something? comedian? I got, okay, well... No, what do you think? Uh, well, Thanksgiving. Thanks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you find one? Right, Thanksgiving in March. <laughs> no, no. Well, that's <laughs> no. okay. All no, right, okay. there we go. Yeah, no, this is it. Is we're we're where, where are we? We're forty eight well, hours. Well, we're finally uh, taking down the Christmas tree. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting the beach sandals out and the sun lotion. It's gonna be a great. Where are we? Huh? Where yeah, man. But um, well, I I do. I've got one. Okay. Uh, I, we can do Good. a who said, said it. it. Bum, bum, bum. Brought this to you by Signals AZ.com. Yeah, uh, okay, this is, uh, this is a good Thanksgiving quote. Uh, Thanksgiving is an emotional holiday. People travel thousands of miles to be with people they only see once a year. 
and then discover once a year is way too often. <laughs> <laughs> who said so, that? Who, who said, said that? Do you have any guesses? Because we'll let you know at the end of the episode. Huh, who said that? I don't know. It had to be a comedian of some sort. I'd say maybe Howie Mandel. But, but Howie Mandel's Canadian, so I don't know. But I guess the, <laughs> but I yeah. guess, no, it's got to be some smart aleck, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, Thanksgiving's an emotional holiday. People travel thousands of miles to be people uh, they only see once a year and then discover once a year is way too often. And here's the, here's the sad part. If you relate to that yeah. or you think that's funny, then then it pertains to you. So it, yeah. it, it's a dead on quote, right? <laughs> exactly. For Thanksgiving. Exactly. Who said it? Yes. Brought to you by signalsaz.com. Signals All right, we'll let you know who said it at the end of the episode. All right, hang in there. So yep. what do you got for us today, Rob? Bo, do you uh are you a big huge fan or subscriber to the National Enquirer? I I like it, you Inquiring know. Enquiring minds want to know. You know, you know, I wonder I wonder what the internet did to their sales. I think they were they, they had huge sales in the supermarkets, right? At the right, checkout line. Right. I mean, boy, they would sell those by the dozens, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah. And I don't know if you sell them at the grocery store anymore or if people go online. Maybe you still do. I know it. I that's the only place that I think I've ever I don't think I've ever purchased one. Oh, I think but I, I, have. I will confess that I, I I think almost every single time I'm waiting in line at the grocery store, I will you look at, I'll pick read it up the or look at, look at yeah. it. Yeah, no, that's an interesting thing. I I, I don't know how to uh, describe it, but um, it's a periodical, if you will, right? Um, that 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 is very unique and very different from other ones. I mean, yeah. it seems to be the one that gets sued the most. It seems to yeah. be the most. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's slanderous. It may, maybe maybe doesn't have the, uh, the the most integrity. I mean, th- 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 those are just uh, my my your first my impulse. Yeah, yeah, right. First yeah, the, the, does it does it feel like in your lifetime, National Enquirer? W- when I was a kid, I remember maybe maybe eighty percent of the headlines being. Uh, you know, uh, alien. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> found. You know, giving the presidential speech at the White House. Yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. or you know, this new whale we just discovered with uh, wings that yes. can speak French. Yes, that's right. You know, but now and you it's, wonder how that stayed. It's like a lot of ga- gossipy Hollywood trash. Yeah, you know, and I don't know if it's a freedom of press. Or whatever. Yeah. But, how do they but, get but away with it? Some lawsuits go, and some right. some lawsuits stick, and libel lawsuits, and some libel lawsuits don't stick. <laughs> right. So it's interesting. Yeah. Right. If you set it up as as uh, such an outlandish fake thing, it doesn't seem like it's legitimate journalism. That's right. And That's then maybe they don't right. they don't get uh, attacked that way. Yeah. Um, but uh, we have some. Uh, are we going to look into some of these stories? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, so National Enquirer, uh, which we didn't purchase any, but there is, uh, you've got the National com at your fingertips, yep. uh, really any, any moment here. Um, and I'm just going to scan down okay. and see if there's any that uh, uh, are... Okay, I got one. They have these articles, and then they have that... What, what is that thing on top of a website that just uh, scrolls? It, it, they have a scroll. Yeah. And so I was waiting for a particular scroll to click on it, but they also have hard articles or hard hard, right. hard, hard places. You can, but I got one here, and I, I we're just looking at them. We're, we haven't pre- prepped this because Michael Berger says he doesn't like to like it when we, when we prepare things. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, mom's brutal murder, quote, haunted Dylan McDermott for years amid Hollywood fame. Oh. I actor, didn't know. Actor refused to talk about dark family past for 43 years. You like Dylan McDermott? I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same as Dermot Mulrooney? I don't know. Are they the same? No. <laughs> They're different people? I think so. Okay. Um, maybe both of Irish uh, Yeah. It descent. sounds like it. Uh, Dylan McDermott has made a name for himself as one of Hollywood's sexiest hunks, but behind his striking blue eyes, he hides a dark family secret, which he refused to speak about for over four decades. Wow. Um, Man, I, I, I'd never heard that, that his mom was murdered. So he's he's still on the search or hunt or would I don't you know, know doesn't know uh, what happened to his mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, first of all, he he's earned the right is the quote. He is a, an extremely handsome guy. My girlfriends would be like, oh my gosh, he's so handsome, he's sexy. That's a quote from Dylan McDermott's sister. Oh. Robin McDermott Herrera speaking of his film career on Reel's new docu-series, Geraldo Rivera's Murder in the Family, 
Hashtag, or not hashtag, but... Uh, Geraldo Rivera is still alive. Dylan he's still McDermott. working. He's still, that should be a National Enquirer <laughs> story. <laughs> no. You speak, talk about, you know, what, what alien has inhabited whose yeah. body. I, that guy's been, he's been around, he, and he looks the same. If, you, if you're out yes, there listening right now, sometime yeah. today you need to Google Geraldo Rivera and, oh and you know, from like 1981 and then put it right next to uh, 2018. I propose he's an alien and huh. he's not aged. They're putting him in that Ziploc sleep container yeah. from Erie, Indiana. I think so. He's 57 years old and when he was five years old. He's only 57? Yeah. Man, that's, that's pretty amazing. Uh, he was five years old when his father was shot dead by her boyfriend, serial criminal John Sponza. By the way, if if we read this article, can we be sued for libel? I'm sure we can. Uh, all right, we yeah. can be sued. We could for, use the ink for anything inside their home. For yeah. decades, the murderer maintained his innocence, but eventually McDermott persuaded investigators into reopening the case and finding the truth. Um, and then it says the death of McDermott's mother must have haunted him for years. Oh, uh, and, man. and this 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 National Enquirer story is is about a. Um, uh, on November 17th, I guess that's already come and gone, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Geraldo Rivera had a special murder in the family, Dylan McDermott, which, uh, so that's what this is about. Man, yeah. I got one here. Uh, this is not nearly as depressing. You know, we do Canadian or dead. Yeah. Would it be, would it be tasteless to <laughs> oh, <no>. do to, uh, <laughs> which celebrities' parents were murdered or not? No, never mind. Go ahead. That's just wrong. Oh man. Uh, okay, so um, this one's not. Uh, this is not sad. This is kind of cool. So uh, you know Goldie Hawn. Yeah, I love Goldie Hawn. Yeah, she's fantastic. And then her daughter is Kate Hudson. So Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn. Yeah, I don't know if they've ever actually officially been married. No, but they've got the, but, one of the longest uh, you yeah, know, relationships, relationships in Hollywood. Yep. And then their daughter is Kate Hudson. Right. And uh, I can add one more thing. Yeah, she used to be. I, I think. I think she used to be, and maybe they reconciled. Uh, married to or had a kid with uh, the lead singer of the Black Crows. Oh, yeah. There you Ooh, go. That's a good piece yeah. of trivia there right you there. Go. Yeah. So, and well, remember when I told you that story when I went to go see uh, American Idol filmed? Yes. And uh, Steven Sajak Tyler and, and Pat Steven Sajak Tyler. had a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. Uh, the only thing to make that uh, more more weird was that I had uh, uh, like right the row right behind us and kind of to the left uh, in the crowd with us was Kate Hudson. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and so uh, it turns out that uh, her fourteen-year-old uh, son, Kate Hudson's son, son so okay. Goldie Hawn's grandson, okay, writer, uh, just absolutely killed at a uh, at a at a comedy uh, gig. Um, so this 14 year old kid, um, uh, he's been studying at a famous comedy improv school yeah. and, uh, I guess he shows kind of real deal, uh, uh, talent. So, um, he had some open mic night opportunity and so Goldie sat back there and, uh, um, writer, I think is going to be the next, uh, major comedian. That's interesting. That's kind of well, cool. Congratulations there. Hey, I've got some Royal news for you. Okay. Uh, there was a story a, a, a while back. Harry and Meghan cheated death in sabotaged jet. What? A new security fears. That's the title. Wow. It doesn't roll off the tongue very well. No, no. Experts say terrorists had royals in sight. Now, so there's, there's sort of a terrorist angle to this. Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle cheated death when lightning zapped their private jet. They were uh, heading over to, uh, to from London to Amsterdam for a star-studded party on September 21st. They landed safely, but uh, lightning rarely, if ever, strikes a plane the size of their 20-passenger DeSalt Falcon 7X. Wow. So security sources suspect that electrical conductors were placed on its fuselage to, to attract the potentially deadly bolts. So they're saying that uh, the odds of uh, uh, an airplane like that yeah. being struck by lightning are yeah, next slim to nothing. To none. Yeah. So they believe that uh, something was added to it to attract the lightning, and they say it was terrorists that did that. Oh, man. So anyways, but they were safe, and uh, 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 authorities believe that they were targeted in a terrorist attack. Wow. It's according to National Security <laughs> Agency consultant Wayne Madsden. Uh, by the way, Megan is, uh, is, is pregnant. 
Oh, and, yeah. Uh, you know, you remember those pictures I showed you the other day of her baby bump? I yeah. was so excited to share those with you. <laughs> know, you remember I, that? I, I barely got in the door. And I you know. were, Ronnie, Ronnie, look, look. look at these. Look at these. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah. who doesn't want to see Meghan Markle's baby bump? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That, that's too good. Um, I, the, the, over the years, um, there have been some, some like most outrageous, like, political you know kind of scoops yeah scandals or scoops? yeah yeah no scoops that the national Enquirer has uh has put forward okay um uh th- that um like uh the supreme court justice um uh scalia uh-huh um that uh he was apparently murdered by a hooker i didn't know that yeah um it didn't uh he didn't he didn't die of heart disease yeah no he did not <laughs> wow uh, apparently the cia hired this uh woman well, of maybe ill the repute hooker, maybe the hooker was named heart disease and so he was <laughs> killed by heart disease <laughs> maybe that's huh? it no <laughs> maybe that's it um yeah uh, th- there's so many of these um uh man i'm looking down the list here i can't even i'm actually going to turn away because <laughs> Yes, these are the worst um, uh, that I've seen. Oh. I, I can now actually not pursue this any longer. <laughs> this course of thought because oh. it's because that, because that, that be- one wasn't that great because it's a website filled with um, tailored uh, robes. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're inferring that you yes. can't look at anymore? Yeah, this, no. This, that- <laughs> this Justice Scalia was yeah. was uh, was apparently done off by a hooker. And yeah, I can't imagine the photos that go with that story. <laughs> yeah. Huh? A bunch of a bunch of judges gavels. Is that what you're looking at? Stopping right now. <laughs> well, then I'll jump in here. Oh man, I'll jump in I've here. Got, I've got some uh, backup here, but you you, you okay. go. Um, O.J. Simpson stands up for drug buddy Bill Cosby. That's the headline. Oh, nice. <laughs> Says in prison, comic is in danger. Quote: Put him into protective custody. <laughs> O.J. Simpson says that his old pal Bill Cosby is right about being endangered in prison. Oh. Telling UK's Daily Mail, quote, they're going to have to put him into protective custody because it takes one nut, you know. <laughs> it's the first time that Simpson has spoken out about his fellow disgraced star saying, quote, I think they should let him do his time under house arrest. Uh, and if anybody knows that, it would be O.J. Simpson. Right? Yeah, that's true. But anyway, so he's sticking up for his old buddy. Man. And, uh, you know. So there you go. Well, uh, okay, I've got some good ones. For a moment there, we were we were like a car on an icy road, yes. you know, slipping and sliding, about to fall off the <laughs> yeah, cliff. Yeah. There, there was about ninety seconds right there where I thought <laughs> we're going to have to stop this whole thing. But but thankfully, you you grabbed the traction control and the all wheel drive <laughs> kicked in, and we're, you're, you're calling you're calling the story about OJ Simpson. You saved and, us and, right there, and Bill Cosby. The traction control. Yeah, that's, that's that's the that's the there you go. That's but, the ballast of this, right? Exactly. Right? Exactly. Right. But I have found uh, some of the the best uh, headlines from. Uh, Okay. From the Inquirer over the years. Oh, that'll be good. Okay. Let's go there. Are we right. just doing headlines? Yeah, so here we go. Spit uh, them out. Uh, fat cat, literally not referring to some guy or you know Orson <laughs> Welles or something. This is an actual cat. Owns 23 old ladies rather than an <laughs> old lady <laughs> holding fat cats. cats. There, is a, uh, there, was, there was a cat. Uh, it was a tabby. Uh, that rules the the oh, retirement that's roost. That's brilliant. Isn't so, that so, a good one? So he's just strolling down door to door getting fed. What a yes, life, huh? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Here's another one. Uh, here's another one. Uh, alien Bible found, uh, and <laughs> and go figure. They worship Oprah. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. huh? Yep. I know she was popular. Yeah. That's a. That's a good oh, one. She great. looks very pleased on maybe, the maybe uh, cover. That was, maybe, that, maybe that's what ag- agnostics disagree with, if I can try <laughs> to make a really insensitive and tasteless joke about religion. <laughs> and maybe Jesus didn't have enough cars to give away or enough, <laughs> or enough microwaves under the studio seats. Yeah, really. That's Everybody true. gets a bug. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Jesus should have done. That's, yeah. Everybody gets a book, who and wants, there's the Bible there. Who wants know? loaves and fishes yeah, yeah. when you could have... Baskets of books for everybody <laughs> in attendance. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I like this one here. Uh, Saddam and Osama adopt <laughs> a shaved ape baby. There you go. 
<laughs> See, this is the inquirer yeah. I liked. Yeah, I, that's right. The gossip one just lost me. That's but right. The, this, there you go. This is why I, I would... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they can't get sued for libel now. Osama and, and bin Laden can't uh, sue them for libel about uh, <laughs> adopting a hairless ape baby or whatever you yeah. said. Yeah, where are we at time-wise on this sucker? <laughs> uh, well, you know, that would be a good one to end. No, I, I, got one. I got right. one here. Hubby's bad breath kills his wife. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cause of death, pure and simple, says doctor. I tried to kiss her and she fell to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good... Oh, do you remember Bat Boy? Yes, I do. Do you remember... See that? Those are the kind of stories that you liked about National Enquirer. Yes. Um, there was a hot pursuit uh-huh. of uh, half bat, half human. Bat Boy leads cops on a three-state chase... And just if, in case you're wondering, Bat Boy drives a Mini Cooper. No! Yeah. no. Well, in that case, who is his sidekick? <laughs> uh. And this might be the last, okay. last one here. Um, it's a little bit behind the times, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, but just, just so you know, and for the record, Dick Cheney, uh, he's a robot. He is? Yeah, and I there's a photo here of him <laughs> peeling his uh, button-down shirt open so you can see his chest. Uh-huh. And then he's rolled back a part of his skin, uh-huh. <laughs> like a flap. Proving. And then underneath is a whole bunch of like digital like <laughs> software. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so uh, we may have to use that photo for uh, you know the description of this podcast. Yeah, and uh-huh. that that was leaked by the uh, CIA apparently. And oh. when he goes to the hospital, it's to get his circuits rewired. Loose lips sink <laughs> ships. <laughs> so give me that Thanksgiving quote. Yes, yes. Uh, Who the, said it? Brought yeah. to you by SignalsAZ.com. A quote about Thanksgiving. Yep, Thanksgiving is an emotional holiday. People travel thousands of miles to be with people they only see once a year. And then discover once a year is way too often. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who said that? I have no idea. Okay, Johnny Carson. No way. Yeah, Johnny Carson said that. That's a good line. That is a very good line, and that's so true. That is yeah. who said it. By Brought to you by SignalsAZ.com. Signals yep. Well, uh, we have uh, one more episode before we go on our little miniature That's Thanksgiving right. break. Yep. And uh, so we hope you're getting all prepared and ready and uh, battening down the hatches and preparing to uh, uh, Celebrate endure a, and, a and, trip and, to van uh, sort of yeah. induced maybe, coma. Maybe a little football, but most importantly, hopefully you're a little thankful for something special this year. Yeah, that's you for know, sure. If you don't mind me getting a little serious. I've got, I've got tons to be thankful for, if nothing else. Just getting to do this uh, I, I, with I, you, I, it really legitimate blast. You know, you know, you are a preacher, so I'm sure you know how to pray a little differently than another person. <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> making a joke, know. but i got to tell you, I will share something. Yep. I, I pray every night before I go to bed, and it's the same prayer. Yeah. It's the same prayer. Yeah. And I start by saying, thank you for the blessings you bestow on my family. Mm. That's huge. I always say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know? And, and, I, and, and last night I said, thank you for the gifts you've given mm. my wife and I. Thank you, yep. you know, for, for these children, these gifts you've given me. Yeah. Yeah. And then I prayed. Please help me be a better father, hmm. more understanding, more compassion, and please help me be a better husband. Uh, and that was my prayer last that's night. That's awesome. And, I, I, yeah, and, I, and that was it. There's no better prayer than that, Bo. Yeah. I, somebody, somebody said one time, what, what if, they're just kind of you know, positing this question, what if God took away everything in your life that you haven't thanked him for? Exactly. And he, he's not going to do that, but... But it puts in perspective, oh gosh, well, I wouldn't want to lose that, and that's I right. wouldn't want to lose this, and I guess I should be thankful for that. And that's such a good way. It, it, it zeroes it in. I mean, And it helps me, I don't know how to say this, but it helps me, um, and, and some people have challenges with this, and I don't want yeah. me to be judgmental, but it helps me to look out. Yeah. Instead yeah. of look in. Yeah. You know, it's very easy to say, oh, well, you know, look at that. Well, they didn't do it right. Right. No, yeah. no. Look at the things that you have. Well, we, we don't have to do that. I yeah. Mean, we, we, we don't have to go into that. Yeah. Uh, we, we know, we, 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 we've learned from our parents how to parent and we parent. Yeah. So, so hopefully, hopefully we, we, we do that pretty well. Yep. Um, I'm thankful for uh, Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive. Yes, that's for sure. You know, Louis Gomez and Angel Gomez uh, run that place. Yep. And they own that. It's a family business. 
Yeah. And, um, you know, he's involved in, in, in uh, some great things in the community, including the Men's Expo annually. Right. You know, and not only is he a great businessman, but he's a great community man. Yep. And they can help you with a flat tire. They'll, they'll, they'll fix your flat tire for free. Yeah. They'll sell you some tires. Yeah. They'll change your oil. They'll do whatever you need. You got a little rattle at the end of your steering wheel, they'll yep. fix that too. It's Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive. They'll do it all, take care of your entire automobile needs. Tell them that Ronnie and Bo sent you. Uh, I take all my cars to Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive. Uh, Ronnie has been there with his vehicles too. 1635 West Iron Springs Road, 776-0205. Find them online at prescotttirepros.com. And thanks to Prescott Realty just for being such uh, loyal supporters of the Ronnie and Bo Show right from day one and uh, just a huge blessing. If you are looking uh, to buy or sell your home, uh, then these are the people to call. Uh, you can check them out at prescottrealty.com or email them at pr- info at prescottrealty.com and they'll get right back with you and answer any questions. Uh, you can call them too for a no commitment free consultation at 928 499 8700. Prescott Realty. Thanks for listening to the Ronnie and Bo Show, available on your favorite podcast provider. Please connect with the Ronnie and Bo Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and RonnieandBoShow.com. Send comments to Ronnie and Bo Show at gmail.com. This is your announcer speaking. I'm Shotgun Tom Kelly. <laughs>